Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with The Fiber Seed and it is Whip Wednesday where I share what I've been working on, which are a couple of things. But first, I need to share something that I didn't work on, but my son did. So Reese wanted me to share this with you. He made me a flower out of Legos and the petals move. And it's been sitting over here in my bookcase, but he wanted to share it with you because it's something he had made on a Wednesday while I was recording one time. So that is my Lego flower that I um, have in my little nook area. Um, but what have I been working on? Uh, let me share. I have been working on my Rebecca Raglan Worsted by Courtney Clark. I love Tinderbox is her handle. And I think also the website where you can find her stuff. And she's also in Ravelry. Anyway, my first crocheted sweater. Wear my sleeves. I know, right? Um, I started them. <laughs> anyway. Um, but look. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? I absolutely love it. I can't find the hole. But. And by hole, I mean I literally missed one stitch. I didn't catch it until it's that far away. And the thing I've noticed, there's a difference. I love crocheting. This is, I've enjoyed this so much. The pattern is super well, well written and um, there's notes and pictures to for the note references. Love it. Um, thing that I, the difference between knitting and crochet that I don't necessarily like is when I catch a mistake that far down. Um, in knitting, I can literally, I've been knitting for so long, I can, with straight knitting, um, increases, decreases, some lace work, depending on how complicated, I can tear it down and bring it back up, right? Like that was part of my job when I used to work at a yarn shop was when people came in with mistakes and how to figure it out and get it right on track. So anyway, my thing was, is I could drop down, fix it and go back up. But you can't do that in crochet. You have to rip it all out, fix it and just go. And so when I caught it, I was like, you know, no, no, I'm just going to figure out how to fix that little thing shut. And I put it on, I tested it out. It didn't uh, affect the um, piece below it. So we're good. It all looks like a cohesive sweater. Well, sweater vest right now because I don't have sleeve. But anyway, that's my one hang up on myself. Not anything to do with the pattern. I use Sprout Worsted. I use Weathered. And if I run out of yarn for the sleeves, I'm going to get creative because isn't that the whole point of all this is to be creative, right? So I might just throw another color in there and do some fun little patterny work to get it to go. We'll, we'll get there. But anyway, that's something I've been working on. Something else I've been working on in my Cottontail Arms bag, which I found my stitch markers from Saf in my purse. There's also something I need to share that I found in my purse from Saf, but later. Um, I am working on the Witchcraft Hat by Kristen Jan Cook, Media Piranha. See this? The perfectness of being a procrastinator is that if you wait long enough, the person who asked you to make something for them forgets that they asked you. Not in the sense that you don't have to make it for them, but you can make it for them in front of them and they don't have an idea that you're doing it for them. So that's what I'm doing for Mr. Fiber Seed. Um, anyway, I'm using Sprout DK in one hank of each colorway. You can make a palm at the end with your excess or if you do like a different, not that this palm's going on there, but if you put a different palm on there, you'll have enough to make two hats out of one hank of each color. So I'm using Midnight Blue as the brim. And then once I get the brim done, it's gonna be um, slip stitching color work, which means you're only dealing with one thing at a time, but I'm gonna put on my Ashling double yarn caddy. And then that way I don't have my balls of yarn rolling around or getting twisted up or anything like that in my bags so I'm gonna be enjoying that I think I'll get done with the prim tonight maybe I don't know but we shall see so that's that was my traveling bag I love this it's Shetland tweed so there we go um that's Cottontail Farms the yarn caddies Ashling 
yarns, but it's A-I-S-L-I-N-G. So I don't think my hand's going the right way, but that's, that's how you say it and how you spell it. Um, what else have I worked on? Something else. So if you remember last year or the year before that, or this, this is your first year seeing my, my mug on here talking about stuff. Um, I have been doing a Christmas box. Um, it's not some elaborate thing. It's just something fun for you to open on Christmas or Christmas Eve or whenever you want to open it. It's, you could open it when you get it. It's all up to you. Or you could be like, hey, person who loves me that doesn't know what to get for me. Here's a box. Put a bow on it. You can wrap it if you want. Stick it under the tree and I'll be happy. Um, all that wrapped up in a new colorway. So this box is going to have a hank of yarn and a sock mini. So this is sock weight yarn. It's 510 yards. This sock mini is 126 yards. This is Holiday Road. It's got greens and like a, a tealy, light tealy blue and your creamy natural background. But it looks like it's white because of the fun of filtering of colors and all that stuff. So like in real life, not just between you and me in the screen here. Um, and then red speckles. And so you can do toes and heels on this. Um, that is my intention for the box for you. Um, however, if you are not a sock knitter or you don't want a contrast tone heel, you can make a shawl. You can, or mittens or a hat or whatever you want to do. You can make ornaments out of this. It's, it's yarn. It's pretty. It goes together. And I'm going to have a couple little goodies in there for you. Um, to enjoy and yeah so that'll be in the shop this friday and that's 7 p.m eastern time so if you're watching me and not the eastern time zone do the math because it could be anywhere but either way this will be in the shop on friday now to the thing i found in my purse from saf the other thing i found in my purse from saf and i'm not talking about like gum or some weird band-aid or something that's not real. I'm just saying excuses. And it, look, purses are like the dryer with socks. Something disappears. And then you find it and you're like, how did I get this collection of things? That aside, because that was a lot, um, I found these end minders in my bag. Okay? So normally I put everything that I get at Fiber Show's in the same thing while well, I was walking around with my purse and not all my stuff, put it in the purse, here we are. Okay, so, Crafty Flutter by Creations. That's the handle, that's the website, craftyflutterby.com is the website. Anyway, she, I've used her stuff before. I've got um, shawl pins that I have in a giant skein above my thingamabarber behind me here. Um, if you've seen them before, if you can see them now. They're there. Um, I have also used thin minders, which is what I have in my hand. But they're normally been plastic, and they can come in all sorts of colors and all different animals. But now, wood is an option. So there's maple, cedar, um, walnut. Now, and all the different. I just love, oh, the magic of of the TV screen. This isn't it. Whatever. Anyway, the screen. I've got another one. Um, these are wooden. <laughs> and the aromatic cedar is aromatic. It's it's actually quite lovely. I think that goes hand in hand with like the yarn crafts. It's like aromatic cedar. Yes, that's a smell I associate with it. Anyway, kitty cats, sheep, dogs, all sorts of animals. I can't remember them all. Go to the website, go to her handle, find them. Um, but and minders are great. They all have this little heart on there. And you utilize that to wind up your end. And it looks like this. And it sits there and it doesn't undo itself because you basically I'm reverse engineer and re-engineer it. Here we go. All right. I'm not reverse engineering anything. I'm just going to rewind and, and go again. So here we are. There's the heart. You put your end on it. You give your little animal a fuzzy coat. And you hook the end and the little hook that's there and end minded. So that's what it looks like. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there. 
and it makes you smile when you see it. And if it's the aromatic seed, you might snip it when you see it. I don't know. That's all to you. I might do that. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> anyway, just messing with y'all. Um, but until next time, though, happy crafting.